More and more students in the Hopkins School District head back to the classroom. One principal is pledging not to return to the status quo. Yeah, the principal at, John, at Hopkins West Junior High School is taking steps to be a voice for change, ensuring all students have access to quality education. Fox 9's B.C. O'Neill joining us now with the story. B.C. Randy, before Governor Walls announced his education plan on Tuesday, a group of local principals made a commitment to engage in more equitable educational practices. A principal in Hopkins is one of many administrators that have been putting in the work now for months. Yeah, we are a very diverse school district. Leanne Campy is the principal at Hopkins West Junior High School. She's part of a coalition of more than 150 administrators working to make the education system more equitable. They call themselves the Good Trouble Principals. I know that our society and our schools are set up in a way to help someone like me succeed, even more so if I was a male. And so I think that it's really important that people that look like me are right there in the middle of the fight to try to change that. Months into a national reckoning on race and as more and more students return to the classroom, in a Twitter post this week, Campy pledging not to return to the status quo. It's important to me because I think every human deserves to be recognized as human and to have all of their gifts valued. The focus on racial equity, Campy says, covers a wide range of priorities, including the approach to learning and hiring. We need to hire more staff of color, and we absolutely do. Um, if we're going to hire staff of color, we have to have a place where staff of color are comfortable and feel welcomed and want to stay. And that's about the culture in your building. This is Governor Walls announces an education plan, which includes expanding opportunities for students of color. Hopkins superintendent is on board. There is a lot of power um, and opportunity in attaining a high quality education and it's our responsibility to to right size and transform our systems. Kimphy says that she's in it for the long haul. I think this work will change the world if we will just do it. I'm told that more than 70 languages are represented in the Hopkins School District. Good Trouble Principles was coined by the phrase often used by the late Congressman John Lewis who said never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble.